<laughs> so, what is up guys? I'm here. It's your boy Cheeseball here. Cheeseball Adventures. We're back with another podcast. I'm here with my mom, Lorena Gomez. Um, I just thought that we'd finally, you know, talk about some of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, which is um, mental health in today's society. But before we get into that, I was hoping that, you know, you could tell us a little bit about yourself and go over your background um, in education, in life in general, and maybe a little bit about, you know, why you went down this route. Okay, well, like he just said, um, his mom, she's more adventure mom. And my name is Lorena. You can just call me Levi, by the way. They know me as Levi as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like to choose well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. I'm Lorena, and um, I'm originally from Mexico. And so as you can see, my strong accent. Anyways, um, here with my cafecito, morning cafecito. I hope you already have one. Anyways, um, what else? Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself, like how, you know, how would you normally introduce yourself if you were a guest speaker somewhere, you know, maybe your education and how many kids you have and... Well, I have four kids. Yeah. This is my old ones, my old one, and... <laughs> and, and the oldest, the oldest guys. The oldest, the yeah. oldest. And, you know, when, you come, when it comes about languages, you never uh, finish learning, so I'm still learning. Um, excuse me like that. So anyways, uh, yeah, I was telling you I'm a um, mom of four and a wife uh, to Miguel. And here, trying to support my older one and my oldest son mm -hmm. with this podcast. Uh, seems like the team is one of my, the ones, the one of, I really enjoy talking about and which is what we are uh, living right now in our society, everyone. And we'll tell you a little bit more about it. And, and also for so, something that you guys also didn't, in case y'all didn't know, um, my mom has a, she's majored in um, counseling and f specifically family counseling. And I think did you, like you also may have minored in music. I don't know if you like you minored in anything. Education right? and, edu and in education. So in music background too. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, um yeah. she uh, she's done volunteer work in um, you know, crisis intervention um, regarding various things um, and um, trafficking, sexual abuse, things like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and she also works uh, for the health department. So she works Actually, with so for social services. Yeah, for social services. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So this, I think, why, uh, who not better than to talk about this with than, you know, my mom. And of course, she also has four kids. So like she had to put up with us and see us go through all of this too, in some shape or form as well. So um, especially in our, our adult lives, I think it's definitely a <laughs> um, an adjustment once we all become adults and then interacting with us and dealing with us as adults is definitely different now than as kids. But there's still one of us that's a kid, Caleb. He's like, he's only 15, but that's another story. Anyway, um, yeah. So as far as mental health goes, um, I just wanted to make this statement a fact. You know, the analysis of the Census Bureau household poll survey finds that half of adults ages 18 to 24 reported anxiety and depression symptoms in 2023. Um, I wanted to make another statement of fact. Um, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, adolescents, adolescents between the ages of 12 and 17, 6% admitted to dealing with depression, 10% admitted to dealing with anxiety, and between 6 to 8% admitted to dealing with some, of, uh, some sort of behavioral disorder. Uh, so my first question to you would be, why do you think those numbers are so high? especially today yeah well um those type of things mental health has been forever right but yeah the what attract my attention is the question that you just asked in today's society i think and this is my personal opinion but 
not only that, but I've been reading and watching in everywhere, TV, social media, you name it. Everyone talks about it. And it is because I would say social media. Now with the technology, you know, it's more advanced. We have in our hands, you know, really, really everything easier than it was like 20, 30 years ago. And the fact that, yeah, like especially, phones, right? especially young people, mm -hmm. you know, that how everyone has a cell phone. Even my, I mean, yours maybe, grandson or granddaughter, uh, I didn't see in families that they have already a cell phone. Yeah, or a, yeah or like a with the little kids, the getting little their kids, kids their tablets. tablets. Yeah. I mean, they are exposed to, to mm -hmm. social media, to the world, yeah, per se. Yeah, yeah. And it's not that that is wrong. It's the misuse, the bad use that, you know, people give to, to yeah, technology, yeah. social yeah. media, I'm talking about. And... I think that's one of the causes that that is, um, you know, bringing up more uh, into that today's society yeah. to bring more this type of mental health problems, especially in young people. Yeah. Because yeah. if you see, they they spend a lot of time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in their phones, mm -hmm. in TV, in all technology. Yeah. You can name it. Yeah. Some examples for me, I think, would be. Um, in ways that I've um, gone through some anxiety because of, you know, social media or like new technology, new emerging technologies are, um, I'll see like other people um, and like the lives that they're living or the success that they're going, that they're getting, you know, in various areas or aspects of their lives and you see that, at least for me, and sometimes you think like, oh, well, I'm supposed to be going through that too. I'm supposed to be doing that too. And if I'm not, then there's something wrong with me. Yeah. And, uh, or if I'm not, then I'm, that means I'm behind and I'm not able to catch up in a, in a very similar sense of like the saying, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. But in this case, it's not um, so much materially, but it's more like self-developmentally. Um, and mm. you start picking yourself apart because you're comparing yourself to other people. And that right. could also be physically and too, but also I think like in every way, you know, in every yeah. aspect. And you can see this a lot in, in young people, you know, and as a humans, everybody wants to be liked, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. But now it's not just you want it to be liked by your family or your friends. You want it to be liked like from a million of people, from thousands, millions. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, if you are masses, not liked yeah. by yeah, masses, masses, then you you become you become depressed. You become like sad, and you are not like getting that standard that you know the social media is asking for. And for young people, I think that is affecting them a lot. And so that's one of the that triggers, you know, that, that if they have something like a background of some sort of mental health, that triggers even more. So that's why I'm saying um, the way you use technology is 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 more alarming in during those this this these days. And back then, I mean, you didn't have a, uh, first of all that type of technology that we have yeah. now. It was easier to live in the moment, I would say, right? Yeah. Um, it was easier mm -hmm. to interact with the people right in front of you and to be mindful. And I think nowadays we have to practice mindfulness, which is like living in the moment because of all the distractions and all the noise that is going on because of whether it's social media or even TV or music or right. other people's podcasts sometimes, you know? But yeah, yeah, I totally, I, I see that. I, I do. And um, yeah. what I was going to ask you next, that goes to my next question. Um, what are some things that you think or actions that we could take to uh, help reduce some of those numbers? I would say just start a little by little because, you know, I, I read in 
I see a lot of people, even us, I mean, I'm not excluding myself on that. Uh, sometimes when I start checking the social, my social media, I, I start with a little bit and then I get hooked with something. And when I see it's been an hour that I'm being on the phone and just start little by little, like let's say in a day, just be one hour without looking at your phone, your tablet or the TV, go outside, breathe the air. I know it's cold right now, but you still can enjoy, you know, this winter season and just get a new sweater. So don't get cold and don't get the flu. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, no, we wouldn't want that. Yeah. Bobby, no. yeah, yeah. Anyways, That's good. um, but go yeah, play sport, you know, so, go, go to the gym, you know. Yeah, uh, so yeah. um, find a hobby that you enjoy. Right. Uh, I know you're going to tell me my hobby is to be in social media, but that's that's the thing. So start little by little, just one mm -hmm. hour a day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then you'll see yeah. that if you can do it, then add it up one more hour. Yeah, set little tiny goals for yourself yes, um, and each and every day and try to meet those goals each and every day, right, you know, right. however just, small. Just a simple thing, you yeah, know, yeah. It start simple. For sure. Yeah. I think that's and, big. And, and start doing something like, yeah, like you're yeah. mentioning, go to the gym, do some activity that you enjoy, you know, mm -hmm, go mm -hmm. to walk and talk with a friend yeah. in person yeah. or maybe by phone, you can hear their voice, yeah, not by yeah. texting. Yeah, but yeah, something a true. little different, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah I know sure. it's strange, especially in mm -hmm. young people, but mm -hmm. um, just try. Yeah, instant gratification too, guys, is like a huge killer, especially for me. Like in a lot of in a numerous number of ways, um, and and that's mainly because um, the reason why it's normally spoken um, through a negative lens is because it doesn't require the same amount of work that you know a, a greater goal would require little tiny goals for instance i don't know like let's say uh making your bed every day you know there's a sense of of fulfillment that you get accomplishment and fulfillment yeah. that you get just for making your bed every day or brushing your teeth twice a day and remembering to do that and not not missing that and then you can build upon that like let's say um cooking for yourself uh, this number of times a week doesn't mean you're cooking for yourself every day you know but cooking for yourself this number of times during the week and then looking back and thinking oh, okay I met that goal or I exceeded that goal and then there's a greater sense of accomplishment and fulfillment and that brings about like very good like it brings about like very just good very good feeling, feelings yeah. yeah yeah like for sure something good dopamine for yeah. You. yeah for sure and, and then accomplishments and I think that that really adds to your character development to who you are and your sense of purpose as well um and those that and then you can just continue to compound that more and more versus like if you just you know sit at home all day and you order pizza every single day and you're playing minecraft like even if that's like your career and you're living off of making minecraft videos you know there's still know you still want to have other things that are like um they healthy brand. for you healthy, yeah different yeah. and healthy different in a healthy way you know like getting out there and like being mobile or, you know, maybe if you have a hobby of in, like writing and, and you enjoy writing, writing a book yeah, and... putting like thoughts to paper, pencil to paper so that right, you can right. write down some of your ideas. Um, and then when you look back on that, that really helps you understand who you are and then you can um, bounce off of that. At least that's kind of what I do. That's what I took from therapy because I've gone to therapy. And, um, and if that's something that you need to do, then you do that, too. Yeah. yeah right. That's so yeah. Yeah. I think Start the key is just you. like, um, know when to rest and know when to, um, when to grow, when to be doing something, you know. But I think overindulgence in every area, in any one area, can be bad and harmful for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where that's another thing that we can take away from that. Um, right, as well right. um i actually have like a graph here one sec that i wanted to share real quick because i was reading a book recently and i wrote something down the book is called uh, 48 days to the work and life you love by dan miller some of you may have heard of it but there's at a certain section of the book talks about how um you know life planning process and the life planning process involves like identifying your skills and abilities Number one, number two is your personality traits. Number three is identifying your values, dreams, and passions. So then the chart 
contains like a, it's a, a wheel, a circle mm -hmm. that outlines um, how all of our lives are, are should be um, um, charted or organized in order to like produce a more fulfilling life. And so, purpose, yeah. yeah, more purposeful life. And so this, it goes like this, you, this there's a chart right there. So um, there are seven sections here, career, financial, social, family, physical, personal development, and spiritual. See, social is in there. Yeah, so social's in there. And there's a certain amount of time. And uh, the way I see this too is like, how much time are we devoting to all of these? How much time are you devoting to your career, your finances, your, uh, your social life? Um, and then um, how much time are you... Um, um, Priorities, you know, you know giving priorities, to your family, okay. to your physical, mm -hmm. personal development, and spiritual. And so, notice that like each one of these is not exactly greater than the other, besides, you know, maybe spiritual because you know, God first, right? And I'm going to advocate for that. I'm a Christian and Jesus Christ is Lord. So, Amen. um, with that, um, for the most part, all the other ones are the same size, right? And overindulgence in one is ultimately going to lead to a lack of, in some ways, purpose, maybe disorientation in the psychological sense, maybe produce anxiety and depression. And sickness. Yeah, sickness. At oh, wow. End. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It could be mentally or physically, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So be careful. Oh, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. And I think you pretty much answered question number six because the question number six was how or what are some hobbies that you think can help alleviate symptoms of depression? And we touched on that a good bit. So, yeah. I mean, so for the, my next question I was going to ask is uh, how important is spirituality in your life and for the people you care about? Not just your life, but let's say, you know, for, yeah, for the people you that are important to you. Oh, it is very important, you know, as Christians, as my son says. Um, I think uh, if we put up, you know, God first, everything like the Bible says, will come accordingly. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that now I see, you know, a lot of people say meditate, meditate. You can meditate, yes. <coughs> but what a wonderful thing if you meditate, meditate in God's things. Yeah, and what are you meditating on? You know, are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it is good to meditate. I mean, mm -hmm. just. Don't let your mind blank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but meditate, think in something, nature, mm -hmm. everything, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Breathe, get outside and or stay in a room by yourself and just, just talk with God. Mm -hmm. And that is very important because uh, after you do that, you, you're you going to feel this sense of kind of relief. Like we are talking right now and we are like... Uh, Oh, after we talk, you it's yeah. like you are... Like everything's going to be okay, yes. right? Yes, and especially if you're talking to God. The know? stress is mostly gone or yeah. gone or completely gone in that moment, right? Right, right. And so because, is the anxiety. And, and that's, that's the thing with, the with The thing with God is that when we talk to Him and we, uh, you know, He said that we can come to Him and, and give up all our problems, emotions, feelings, and He will give us rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So and, Come and to it me, is all true. you who are heavy laden and so, burdened, yeah, I will yeah. give you rest. Yeah. Right. Right. I can't and, remember um, what verse that is, but um, yeah, feel free to look it up. And, and the Lord and tells us to look. It, it is. It is very important spirituality. You know, um, for your well being. It's not just only for mind, your body, physically, but uh, your soul. You know, your soul uh, is is part of you, or who you are, and that's one of the three components that every human being must do, must practice, um, if not on a daily basis, but must practice. So mm -hmm. uh, it helps us to calm down our thoughts, our feelings, our, our you know, physically, emotions, mm -hmm. things like that. It's and, all connected too, because like yeah. your physical state is going to be connected to your mental and um, Physically, spiritual yeah. state it's all all of it's connected you know if you if you're neglecting um you know for instance this, like that part of your body because yeah. you know as we, as we know we are like three essence mm -hmm. we are you know body mind body and spirit yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, everything is connected 
Mm -hmm. So if you neglect one of them, one of them, one is gonna suffer. Yeah, it's gonna make suffer the other one. You're not gonna be kind of complete. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's 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 good. This it is very important. So yeah, for sure. Try yeah. to do it. That's true. And I think you kind of you mostly touched on uh, get, giving some real world examples in your life or in real example in people's lives of whom you know. Um, but maybe what are some examples in like your life as far as like what you do to like um, to work on like your spiritual um, life regarding like the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, one good example, and I remember that one really good because I, I was about to, to, to present this test and for my exam, this professional exam. And I was so anxious, I was so worried, I was with all the feelings that you can think of. And I was like, I need to do something, I need to, so it come to my mind, I need to pray, I need to talk to God. And, and I went into my room and I started just talking to him, just like I'm talking to you right now. And I was telling him, God, I feel like this, I feel worried, I feel fearful, as I feel, um, with a lot of stress, with a lot of, you know, everything that you can think of. And as I started talking to him, I was expressing all those feelings. It was like a sense of relief that I was starting feeling. And next day, early in the morning, I had this test. Um, it helped me a lot. Even though next morning at the very, before I entered this room, examination room, and I, I did a short prayer too. And it made me, you know, like going more in peace. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. he was telling me, I'm in control. Um, you know, everything is gonna be okay. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. but anyway, um, yeah, spot. things like that. When you feel like this anxiety, and of course you can still do those exercises that a lot of people, professionals, you know, recommended to do, like grab a bag and uh, breathe inside the bag or things like that, or do the exercise and. But at the core of everything you do physically is that state, that spiritual state, that I think as humans, as humans, we, we shouldn't, you know, neglect, forget, because um, that's part of what we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it really helps. Yeah. So help me. That's, that's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for sharing that. Sure. Thanks so much. I mean, that concludes the questions now at this point. Um, this has been uh, an amazing time. I'm glad that I was able to interview for you for this. Um, that um, I, There's some things that I'll definitely be able to take from this that'll help me in my life, and I hope that they help you guys too. So, um, I mean, right. without further ado, my name is Cheeseball. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Let us know if there's anything that you think that we should add, that I should add to the channel uh to future videos ideas um or you know any concerns that y'all may have uh thanks so much for watching um please feel free to subscribe that would be amazing that like helps us out a lot hit that like button and the notification bell on the way out the door if you do subscribe you know and as always it's your boy cheeseball here you know um